हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू आवर डार्ट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कोर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वाज अबाउट फॉर इन लूप नाउ इन टुडेस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाइल लूप इन व्हाइल लूप द लूप्स बॉडी विल रन अंटिल एंड अनलेस द कंडीशन इज ट्रू यू मस्ट राइट कंडीशंस फर्स्ट बिफोर स्टेटमेंट्स दिस लूप चेक्स कंडीशंस ऑन एवरी आइटरेशन If the condition is true the code inside curly braces is executed if the condition is false then the loop stops right uh, here you can see the syntax of while loop here we write our condition first of all it will check condition if condition is true then it will enter into curly braces and execute all the statements inside curly braces and at the end it will perform increment or decrement operation right now let me open vs code and show you practically here uh, first of all let me uh, declare a variable i its its initial value is 0 right now here i will start my while loop here we need to write our condition first of all let me print counting from 1 to 10 here uh, i is less than or less than or equal to 10 right here uh, let me print i right increment i i plus plus right let me test it here you can see it is printing counting from 0 to 10 if i want to start my loop from 1 then here i need to write 1 now it will print from 1 to 10 right this is uh, it's working is uh, similar like for loop but with different syntax only the difference is syntax the working is same like for loop uh, first of all it will check the condition when this condition is true it will enter into the block and execute all the statements and when condition will become false then it will stop working right now let me calculate this sum of integer from 1 to 10 first of all here i need a variable sum its initial value is 0 uh, here i will calculate sum sum plus is equal to i here after while loop i need to print this sum here you can see it is printing sum we can also print uh, our counting reverse uh, i mean from 10 to 1 right uh, let me show you first of all let me clear is here i want to print my counting from 10 to 1 in reverse mode right uh, let me here i need to write 1 and condition will be changed greater than and here uh, instead of uh, plus plus i need to write minus minus because we need decrement print i now let me test it here you can see it is printing from 10 to 1 right because our i value is 10 right first of all it will check if 10 is greater than or equal to 1 condition is true then it will print 10 right after that it will decrement right it will decrease the value of i by 1 then this time it will become 9 right now again it will check 9 is greater than or equal to 1 condition is true it will print 9 like this it will continuously working until 1 right and when it will become 1 it will print 1 after that its value will become 0 when its value will become 0 it will check 0 is greater than or equal to 1 the condition will become false this time the loop will stop working right because condition will become false this is the use of while loop no we can also print even and odd number by using while loop here uh, first of all let me change its value to 1 i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 10 right 
now i will uh, print all the odd numbers from 0 1 to 10 right odd numbers for odd numbers there are two methods first method is the increment will be of 2 it will simply print only odd numbers here you can see it is printing only odd numbers right if i start my loop from 2 instead of 1 then it will be, uh, print even numbers here you can see it is printing even numbers right i can also change condition to 20 here it will print all the even number from 2 to 20 right here you can see i can also start it from 10 right i will print even numbers from 10 to 20 right now this time our loop will start from 10 to 20 right this is the use of while loop there is also another way to print even numbers uh, again let me change it to 1 and condition will remain same here uh, this will also be changed to plus plus here I will write our my if condition if I will check the mod of the number right mod i mod 2 is equal to 0 then it will print i right now it will print only even numbers here you can see it is printing all the even numbers from 1 to 20 right this is the use of while loop as we already seen in finite loop uh, by using for loop in while case if condition is always true it will also become infinite loop let me change this condition to true right true this time let me print print some statement then you can see condition is true it will always be true then our loop will start infinite right infinite time it will work 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 it will always work let me show you here you can see it is printing 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 right it will never stop right here you can see this is uh, this is called infinite loop so always be careful about conditions in loop right if our condition is always true our loop will never stop we need to stop it manually right so this is the use of while loop if you have any question in your mind you can ask it comment box or you can contact me directly and if you have any suggestion regarding this course or regarding our channel you can also type in comment box okay good luck